What up guys, uh, World Legend here and th today all I'm going to say is Miles finally got a film of Spider-Man! Yes! Oh my god. Spider-Man into the, into the Spider-Verse. Amazing film. Just fucking amazing. I mean, I could go on about this. But basically what the story is, it's basically, uh, not Peter Parker, but another Spider-Man called Miles Morales, and he's just starting a new college or school. And what happens is like he stumbles upon um, Spider-Man, you know, his Spider-Man because he's not Spider-Man yet. But but basically, what happens is like he gets bitten by the uh, radioactive spider, which is a bit different because like when Peter did it, it was um, in a uh, science lab or but when Miles does it it's in the alleyway and he's just like it's just like yeah. so yeah what happens is like like Peter Miles goes through changes but he kind of looks at he kind of breaks the fourth wall a bit and looks at all these Spider-Man comics what I love which is um basically like he tests all these powers out but what I, but basically, what I love about all these um, different versions of Spider-Man is like how they're all different stories of how Spider-Man gets bitten. I mean, like, yeah, they're all different stories, so that's quite interesting. And so one is like Miles basically uh, goes around snooping around. Uh, Fisk Industry. Well, not. Wait, wait. Is it Fisk Industries? But no. But basically, what the what the story is basically is uh, King Kingpin um, wants to bring back his family. I mean, like, because they're not dead or anything. But basically, uh, one was like, uh, um, unlike this is like a new Spider-Man because one is King Kingpin is caught. Beating up Spider-Man because uh, by by his uh, wife and child and like how you know how everyone loves Spider-Man. It's like yeah, they're like oh my god, why would you do such a thing? And he wants to bring them back, but however, like that's like going back in time and like trying to prevent uh, prevent like that from happening. So what what happens is he has this machine which causes a rift into the space-time continuum or into the Spider-Verse yep. um, and it brings out all these other Spider-Man that um, all these other Spider-Man that, sh that um, come from all different universes because like you've got the uh, Noir Spider-Man you've got um, which is Noir Spider-Man which is played by Nicolas Cage um, uh, you got um, like, I'm gonna call him like, I don't know, I don't, Loser Spider Man's not, it's like, it's like, it's like Spider Man, it's like Peter Parker, but he's nothing goes right for him, but in this universe. But what happens like, and you get, um, uh, like this China, Techno Spider, which is basically this one from Japan, like China, Japan, China, I don't know. Um, and you've got Spider Ham, which is like a cartoon, and there's nothing wrong with cartoons, but I just thought it was really good. So, and Wands is like, oh yeah, and there's also uh, Sp Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider, however however you want to call it, however you want to call it really, but it's up, it's up to you. But basically, uh, Wands is, um, yeah, so they, they try to train my, Miles about all the, um, like how to become how to become Spider-Man in his universe. So, um, yeah, um, but like it t it takes him it takes him a while, and then like yeah no he's he's not ready he's not ready yeah they're like he's not ready, and then like in his own time he'll he'll become Spider-Man. He'll become Spider-Man and be ready to face the um, face Fisk along with the others. 
So, because they go off on a head, they go off on a head without him, and because they think he's just not ready, he's just not going to cut it out to be Spider Man, he's just not ready. So they go on ahead and try and stop stop Fisk and stop Fisk from um, trying to reunite with his family. There you go. That's it. Come on, move on. Move on. Move on. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Yeah. So basically, uh, they try to stop Fisk, but but they but they're kind of not without a team about um about uh Miles. So one is like Miles comes in as with his new spider man suit, which which basically like what he's like is he yeah, he just draws over, he just takes the original suit basically like turns it into his famous black and red one. Which is like one of the best suits in the whole spider universe. And they they and while realities are warping around them, like all the uh, cities are building together, and um, all the cities being, being fusing together, like all the universes, it's all starting to suck into one big massive universe, which they do not want. Because can you imagine like can you imagine like a universe where, where everything's like all different and like confusing? Yeah, I don't think so either. It'd be so confusing. I'm like, what? What? Uh, but what happens is they stop him, and then like, and then like, they, and then like, um, when they stop him, and then like, yeah, yeah, yeah stop him, then, and just goes to jail. Um, okay, now for the characters. Um, I loved um, all the characters. All the characters were great, especially Miles and. Um, Nicholas Cage's um, noir Spider-Man, and what I'm like, and there's also other characters including Miles's parents, which is um, a great, a great because like he's trying to protect the city and trying to show his love for um, Miles at the same time, but it's got to be hard on him. It's tough love, but obviously, yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, uh, story's very good, um, story's very good, and they've been playing, um, animation. Now for the animation, it kind of took a different turn in the, um, in the old, in, with, uh, graphics, because they all sit on, like, comic book style, like, it's all, like, stop motion or comic book, which was very, like, unique from... Um, from what they usually, from what Sony usually does, I mean, like, yeah, because this was this movie was uh, Sony Pictures Animation, and I thought this was like one of the best Spider-Man's ever, and and soundtrack, soundtrack was brilliant, absolutely loved it, loved loved it, loved the whole uh, thing. Um, what else can I talk about? Uh, post credit, yeah, there is one post credit, which is a. Uh, Quite, quite funny, and it's first. It's first, it kind of trolls you because um, what happens is it goes into like uh, twenty ninety nine Spider Man, which is Miles, no, which is Miguel over here, and Buffy. Um, Buffy, uh, no. Sorry, she's been alone. She, she's been alone for for a very long time, and I, I just come in and. She needs a friend, but we see. I've said I'd do this. I've, I've said I'd do this review for, and I'll play with you. And basically, when there's like yes, in um, Miguel's story, like because um, Miguel's uh, story, basically they're like he does the old they old they do the comic book thing, of like origins of like how it happened, how I got into the universe. But now we've like. Well, it tells you how he started, and the funny thing is, like, it goes back to the um, nineteen. Is it nineteen nineteen sixties or nineteen seventies? The the very first cartoon, and it's like, hey, why are you pointing at me? It's like, no, don't point me. And then it's like, da 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 da. da. <laughs> yes, yeah, basically that mean when they were pointing at each other. So, 
Yeah. Um, what else can I talk about? Um, Spy, Spy Ren, yeah, she, she was good. Uh, the Japanese Spy, yeah, she was okay. Yeah, she was good. Um, mm, what else do I talk about? If I've got, I've got nothing else to talk about, so I'm going to end the video here. And before I do, I'm going to do my review. And this movie is getting a 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah, this movie's getting a 10 out of 10 from me. Because, um, I just loved every bit of it. If you're a Spider Man fan or not, um, even if you're just a regular Sony fan, like, because they, they've redeemed themselves from the Emoji movie, from my opinion. Yeah, I can bring that up. Yeah, because I, you know, like, I know, like, the Rose movie was, like, the worst Pixar, not Pixar, um, Sony film that they could think of, but they, but they kind of redeemed themselves with this movie, and this movie does not disappoint. So, if you're a fan of Marvel, Spider-Man, or just want to go check it out, then go ahead. So, yeah, um, this, I wish you all a very, very Christmas and a Happy New Year, and this is... Probably, wait, yeah, I, yeah, throughout this time I'm going to be like wishing everyone a happy Christmas because I've got a couple of more reviews coming in and I don't know if I'm going to be doing them with uh, Superbat and the guys. But, um, but basically, um, if you want to, but, yeah, that's, that's all I can think of, really. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.